how you learn to play all of this but more properly welcome every but this is Jamal Badr from Egypt we are going to illustrate uh, all connections which can be done with KXNS500 which is a pure IP TTX as you can see this is the front panel of our IP TTX KXNS500 basic configuration is three outside line and 16 single line telephones and two digital phones actually with another two added digital phones by using of digital encrypted device port feature first we can see from left that we had status and ttx mode indicators to indicate situation or operation of ip ttx this switch is the system initialized switch which is so important in our ttx configuration this switch is used to set the default setting for the IP TTX. Second connection, we can find LAN port, which can be used to set our system as a server in the local LAN of the customer. Second connector is a new CV connector port or connection jack which can be used to save all programming data and activation files and uh, recorded message or uploaded message for the system also it will be used if you want to upgrade your system uh, after that we will find as we stated before the first of uh, this session we have three RG45 ports to connect CO line each port will use will be used to connect to outside line uh, actually analog outside line this port is a digital port RG45 port which can be used to connect to digital Panasonic phones and this last card is for to connect 16 single line telephone as we stated before connection of patch cord between LAN port and local switch of our customer will set our IP TTX as a server in the LAN. When we connect our IP TTX to the local switch, we can connect any laptop or PC to the same LAN and we can start immediately to communicate and program our IP TTX. It needs no special software for programming, just use any browser and set this default IP address 
for our IPvDX, you will be communicated, you will be communicate with the, the IPvDX. Okay. This is about the using of Lambda. Actually, also you can set direct connection between Lambda and your laptop and start programming if you wish. This is the real part of the IP PBX. We can see this is the plug. This uh, jack will be used to plug the power uh, supply jack or connector. This is the ground connection, which is so important for the IP VDX. We recommend everyone to ground the IP VDX. This is the power switch used to open and close the system. This is the uh, backup battery cable rack. This uh, connection of batteries needs special uh, power cord, which is KXA228. Uh, as you can see, we need three parallel batteries to get 36 volt which is needed to back up the system during power failure. In old versions of KXNS500 this switch is located and it will be used to set power to, uh, to uh, power of batteries to on condition. Later versions this switch was cancelled. After that, we can see that we can install this Seaboard Expansion Master card to our IPvDX to connect three other slave units to our IPvDX to upgrade the capacity. Uh, actually, at this point, we must state that uh, this card is used to expand, to expand uh, single line telephone and digital phones and so on. IP phones need this V card to be installed and needs our IPvDX to be connected to the LAN or to the WAN if we want to use IB phone at another country or another location, whatever it is located. Uh, this stacking card used to connect more three units of uh, IP PBX which is slave. All of the three will be slaves. This is the physical picture for uh, the card. And it will be connected here in this position, as we can see. In details, this is the expansion card is installed, and we can use this board to connect the first expansion unit this port to connect the second, this port to connect the third, as we can see here in this figure. This is the main unit, this is the master unit with stacking card or expansion card connected, so we connect another three slave to the system to expand capacity. This is figure indicate details about what we 
said about connection of expansion or save unit to the IP TPX. Now we we'll go to state how to connect your lines or external lines. First of all, we must state that all connections to our IPTX is done by using LAN cables, four wire LAN cable, CAT5 or CAT6 depend on your existing LAN. Most of us know about the arrangement and the configuration of uh, RG45 jack. We stated or we uh, put it here for details to use it in our connection. This card is equipped at the factory which can give us ability to connect six outside line to CO lines per port. Actually you can add another uh, expansion card for CO lines to get maximum 12 uh, traditional CO lines to each main unit. Uh, connection of uh, CO lines in details will be indicated here. As you can see, we will connect RG45 cable here to this port to get CO line 1 and 2 through these colors. CO line 1 will be connected through the uh, orange white pair. CO line 2 will be connected through brown white pair. We write the colors and we uh, set this detailed uh, diagram. Same connection will be used when we connect another RG45 cable here to this port to get line number three through the orange white cable and line number four through brown and white cable last RG45 cable which will be connected to this third port will be used to connect CO line five to through uh, orange white pair and CO line six through brown white pair all of these CO lines can be uh, set as connection for external music source, music on hold source, or external pager through system programming. As you can see, it is illustrated before in details in many videos. Also, we can add expansion CO line card digital or analog only one card can be used to each main unit we can't connect two digital CO line expansion card to any unit just one can be installed. Now we will see in details how to connect digital telephones. Digital telephones is connected to this digital card to get 
two digital bonds. First digital bond will be connected through the orange white pair. Second telephone will be connected through green white pair. Connection to the connection box must be to ports one and four, which is came with outside ports of RG eleven jack. So it must be connected through one and four. This figure illustrates in details how to connect digital phones and how to get etc phone by digital etc device port we just state here how to connect these phones but we cover this point in details in many many videos before this is details this is the details about how to use the expansion feature of ports in Panasonic IP TVX. Now how to connect single line telephone to the VPS. Single line telephones is connected to this card. As you can see, first port will give you extensions 105 and 106 only second port to connect 107 and 108 the remaining three ports will be used to connect four single line telephone to each port Details about how to connect single line telephone is illustrated here in this figure using colors of RG45 cable. Extension 105 will be connected to orange white pair. Extension 106 will be connected to brown white pair. This RG45 cable is connected to the first port. Second port, as we say, will be con used to connect 107 and 108 to the same pair also. As we said before, the remaining three RG45 ports will give four extension for port which means that all pairs will be used. Orange-white pair will be used to connect 109, green-white for 11 or 110, blue-white for 111, brown-white will be used for 112, and the same exactly for the remaining two ports. This figure gave illustration for all connections which we said before by colors you can find out that you can connect CO line number one through the orange white pair CO line number two to the brown white pair for digital you can find that extension 101 will be connected by using orange white pair second digital extension will be connected through green white pair this figure is summarized all connection to 
all parts and this is also the same but for expansion cards which can be used with KXNS 500 just concentrate in this figure and you will connect any type of card to KXNS 500 uh, connection of IB pounds will need you to install this B card first to the main unit and second you must activate the virtual slot which be used to install virtual extension cards and virtual trunk cards and also virtual IP cell stations uh, actually this uh, part of uh, connection is illustrated in another videos which is uploaded already to our channel this is how to set number of IP PBX to your system and this is the summary for all we have said in this video we hope you find this video useful for you and we you uh, get uh, the help you needed or you expect thank you for listening and see you again